a series of videos on the fundamentals of pharmacokinetics. Video one, an introduction. These videos are intended for those relatively new to pharmacokinetics. You might be an undergraduate of pharmacy, pharmaceutical science or some related degree. Or you may be someone changing career and you are in need of some basic training in pharmacokinetics. The first pharmacokinetic videos were uploaded to this channel in 2018. But then in 2022, for reasons that will become apparent in a moment, the time came to update them. The previous series of videos on this channel have now been replaced with new, updated and improved videos. They are organised in a playlist and they will play in the appropriate order. The new videos have also been kept to no more than around 20 minutes long. These videos are best viewed in the context of a textbook, Lapin and Seymour's Clinical Pharmacokinetics from the Beginning. This textbook was published in early 2022, which prompted the updating of the videos. The videos will stand alone for those in need of basic pharmacokinetic training. The textbook is not essential, but you will get a lot more out of this if you view the videos in the context of the textbook. The textbook is available as an ebook and a paperback from Amazon and we've priced it for a student budget. The book does have more detail. It has references and further examples. The calculation of pharmacokinetic parameters in the book is done statistically, but the videos use a single set of data. But you're nevertheless you'll find these videos instructive by themselves. So how does this all work? Well, the videos and textbook are themed around an imaginary drug called Pretendalone. We have data for oral and intravenous administrations, and we use those data to calculate a series of pharmacokinetic parameters. We then bring all those parameters together and because we have calculated them using a single set of data we can show their interrelationship and what they mean. Both the textbook and videos tackle the subject from a very practical perspective. There are of course limitations and assumptions made in both the textbook and the videos. We are dealing mostly with single dose administration. There is a little bit on repeat dose, but the focus is on single dosages. We are limited to oral and intravenous routes of administration. We are concerned here only with unchanged parent drug in plasma, we do not look at metabolites and we do not look at any other body compartment. Throughout, we assume first order linear kinetics. And if you're not sure what first order kinetics are, then it's explained in video 3A. We also assume you understand some basic mathematics, logarithms to the base 10 and E, some simple manipulations and you can convert, for example, milligrams per litre to nanograms per milliliter. This is the series of videos on this channel. I'm not going to go through them one by one. But in addition to these videos, there are some supplementary videos on passive diffusion, meaning log P, log D, drug-drug interactions, pharmacogenomics, drug metabolism and transporters. So, let's get started.